So when you think about your success, your professional success, your financial success, all that, how do you think about that in terms of uh, what you attribute to hard work and good choices versus what you attribute to luck? How would you say that? Is it like you're breaking it down? Because I've been asking a lot of guys this question. That's a good uh, question. Not just you. Uh, I asked the Mizzou football coaches. I lead a Bible study with them. And I asked them the other day. I've asked business people, lots of people, men and women, all ages. If you had to say, you know, if I think of my success 100%, how much of that 100% would I say is hard work and good choices? And how much of that is luck? You know, it's so crazy. I bet I'll give you the highest number that anyone's given so far, but I would say it's 90% luck and 10% hard work because I say this to say, I've done certain gene tests and things like that Uh with some of my doctors and people. Uh And there's actually genes that we have that make us more prone to want to hard work, to do hard work and more prone to to self-motivation. So that told me like, even the hard work that I do, uh-huh. I'm programmed this way by God. Uh-huh. So like, it's you know, there's some people that are more naturally lazy and you're like, man, why can't you just get it together? Like just find self-discipline. There's actually genes that we're given that we can't control um, and certain neurotypes that are more just like wanting to work hard. So like I have a gene that made me want to work hard. I was given 610. I was giving athletic ability. So that's why I say, it's probably 90% luck and God given um, and 10% hard work. And that's why that also takes a lot of pressure off of it too. Cause like, man, like I, yeah, I love this, but God gave it to me. Like uh-huh. it, if he, he's going to take me as far as he wants me to go, because a lot of it is, is luck. A lot of it. I love that answer because when I was younger, I thought that any success I had was because I worked hard. The older I've gotten, the more I realized that I've been, blessed beyond measure, right? That yeah. that every good gift I have is from God. I didn't choose my parents. I didn't choose the century I grew up. I didn't choose the country I grew up in. There's a lot of blessings that I've had that I had no control over. But what I found is that the more successful people are, the more they attribute their success to themselves. And I love hearing you saying, no, even my desire to work hard, that's a gift from God. No doubt. It's, it's, it's really crazy. Okay, but then Jesus says, to whom much is given, much is required. So mm-hmm. you just acknowledge God's given you a lot, right? He's given you a great mm-hmm. family. He's given you athletic talent. He's given you financial success, all that stuff. And you've been given a lot, so God's going to hold you accountable right. to use that wisely. What are you doing to make sure that you use your talents and your gifts, all that God's blessed you with, in a way that that honors God and promotes his kingdom instead of Michael's kingdom? Yeah, I think that's another thing that that I've learned, that you can easily drift from perspectives of self-glorification to honoring God. I think you can drift through those perspectives even throughout the day. There's so many things that distract us that bring us to you know, comparison or wanting to be better than this person or this person, like, and a lot of it is social media. There's so many distractions, but anyways, something I've found is even if it's a few times throughout the day, it's okay to reground yourself and reprioritize and re, you know, align yourself with kind of God's view of things Mm -hmm. because no one all the time is perfectly, you know, always just trying to glorify God, you know, we're selfish in nature. So, um, but I think for me, like you said, to much who who's given a lot, much is expected. Um, like I just said, a lot of it is luck, but at the same time, God gives gifts to a lot of people that don't that don't utilize them. Like that happens all the time. Sure. Um, and I just think that that is I think you can find your purpose. We all have the same purpose, you know, to, to help bring more people to God, help make heaven more crowded. But finding like your niche in this world. I think it, a lot of it can come down to what did God kind of bless you with? Um, and mine was, mine was just my height athleticism. It kind of made sense. It was basketball. So I'm just trying to figure out how I can use that, use my platform to not just be a basketball player that lives selfishly, you know, with my money, you know, spending it all on myself. I want to do more than that. I want to start a podcast. I want to give to these churches. I want to find charities I can give to, to make a real lasting impact. 